Hand cream in general, awesome product. It smooths your skin, makes it feel great, keeps you hydrated. Men's hand cream can be a tough sell with some men, but I found with all of my research that men are actually really using hand cream a whole lot more now than they have ever before. And I am going to, you know, talk to you about the hand cream that we are making specifically for men today in just a moment. But before I do, hello, I'm Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You're at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And today we're making the lotion-y things, specifically the men's hand cream things. And yeah, a men's hand cream is actually something that I've had requested a lot over the years. And I would sort of run the numbers and look at the stats and go, I don't really know if I can justify putting my line. But at this point, with increasing number of men actually going on and getting their manicures and caring about the, their skin in ways that maybe they didn't, you know, 20 years ago, it's now time to put in some hand cream and, you know, listen to the men in the world and what it is that they want, really. And so that's what we're doing today. Now, formulating a good hand cream for a man is, I would say, arguably a little bit more complicated than forming a lotion for a female because we are used to putting things on our skin all of the time for various reasons. And men, they're not as much. And also they are very particular on the type of uh, moisture level that they're going to get from a moisturizer, really. And so they wanna make sure that yes, it's moisturizing. Yes, it helps with the, call with the calluses and smoothing out the cuticles, but that they are not in any way, shape or form left feeling greasy or overly scented. So that is what we are working on today. So we're gonna to go to the video and I'm gonna talk you through the process and the oils and butters I selected for this particular hand cream and we'll you know figure it all out together. So we are going to be starting this particular hand cream recipe out with, instead of distilled water like we normally do, we instead are going to be using aloe vera liquid. Now, this is a 100% substitution for the distilled water in a lotion recipe. And the reason that I'm putting aloe in the men's hand creams is because aloe is known to absorb really easily, right? So it's great for dry skin, but it's also great for oily skin. So it's, you know, great all around. One of the things that, you know, men are going to want in their hand cream products is something that, yes, it moisturizes just the thing, but also it's not left, you're not left feeling greasy. So that's why we're putting aloe in instead of you know water and it's also you know antioxidant rich anti-inflammatory all that jazz now what we have going on here is the mango butter now mango butter is going to be really great it enhances hydration improves skin tone and this is the karanja oil that's going in i put karanja in this because it is a dry oil and it's also an antiseptic an anti-bug it helps with wound healing and this is the avocado oil that's going in now and you know avocado oil pretty self-explanatory in all of that because everything you know and love about the avocado, that's what you're gonna find in the oil as well, high neophase. It is the heaviest hitter as far as uh, the slow penetration goes within this oil, this you know recipe. But between the karanja oil and the mango butter, both dry oils and butters, you're going to really have the you know awesome super hydrating but super fast absorption so you are left feeling hydrated but not at all sticky or greasy which is going to be a big plus for anybody that is uh using you know any man that's you know, using hand cream really because the whole 
Mr. Soap and Clay says the uh, biggest benefit of a good hand cream, the biggest mark of a good hand cream is if he can open a door right after and if he can snap his fingers. And Mr. Soap and Clay absolutely hates lotion, all things lotion, hates it, hates it, hates it. But this recipe, when it was all said and done, I made him close his eyes and hold out his hand and I put lotion on him and he immediately felt deceived. And I get that, and I'm sorry, Mr. Soap and Clay, but I needed to test it. And he loved it. He thought it was a great product for, you know, the actual moisturization of his hands because again, he did the snap test immediately and went, yeah, this is, this is really good. And then continued on with his day, still sort of mad at me that I had made him, you know, try, try lotion. But these are the things that he does for me and I appreciate him very much. Now with this, um, the stearic acid and the emulsifying wax went in and again that's those are essentially co-emulsifiers to make sure that the solution uh, remains stable and we have a nice emulsified you know, solution. And so that's what we're working on right now. We have heated everything up to 180 degrees, both the aloe vera and melted down the oils and the butters and we are now mixing them. And I mix for two full minutes with each incorporation of new stuff. Right, and again, you can like look at timestamps and go, no, you didn't. You only did that for a minute. I super sped this up because uh, this part of lotion making is not the most fun for me, so I sped it up. Now, this is the scent blend that is going into this one. Now, for this particular lotion, we are using the same scent blend that we used in yesterday's soap, in Frank Sinatra's soap, and. This is mallow extract. Now, mallow extract in this recipe is going to be really good because it actually helps with conditioning and hydration of the skin, right? Also softens the skin and it acts as an anti-inflammatory. So across the board, mallow is a really good one to put into a, uh, a hand cream like this wherein you are wanting it to, again, penetrate quickly and moisturize and hydrate without any sort of greasy or sticky or any of that stuff left over. And after I have included the scent blend as well as the extract, we pulse for another two full minutes, making sure that everything is well incorporated. This is important with all liquid lotion recipes, really, but I would argue that it is especially important when you start sw swapping out your uh, waters for other things or even using enhanced waters like teas or whatnot. You wanna really, really make sure that we have the breakdown of you know the fatty acid chains in the oils and the butters and that they are, you know, reformulating, reforming with uh, the, the H2O, really, to create a lotion and not just a separated mess. Now, the final step for this is going to be the inclusion of the um, preservative, and this is Optifen ND for the preservative. I love Optifen ND. It is my favorite preservative to use, and, you know, unfortunately, whenever you do a water-based product like this, you have to use a preservative. And I found the Optifen MD is by far my favorite. It is not a formaldehyde donor. It is as close to natural as you can get without it actually being so. Some people use like grapefruit extra, whatever. I recommend not doing that because I mean, for, for a preservative for a lotion, that just stick with the thing that you know is going to work so you don't end up with bacteria and mold and all the gross things that can come along with a water-based, you know, product, really. Just just don't do that. Just put in your preservative. And this preservative is actually put in at 1% of total batch weight, so it is great with all of that. And everything is finally well mixed up and we are ready to pour these into their containers, so we'll do that next. And on to the pour. And, um, I am an absolute disaster with this pour. Like, I, so, uh, yeah, I, yep, yeah, went over on that one. Okay, so take two. Let's, let's try it again and see if I managed to not overfill this container, really. And, uh, oh, yeah, no, overfilled that one too. And finally, I sort of got the hang of it with this. It was just not a good day for pouring things. Honestly, I was having such a difficult time with this and considering this is like the bourbon, you know, blend that we did for the bourbon like leather blend that we did for yesterday's soap, I thought it was very funny, right? Like you have a, 
this awesome Rat Pack line that have these great like tobacco and cigar and you know alcohol scent blends in them. They're delightful, but I'm kind of pouring like I'm a drunk person. And I was thinking about this as I was pouring this and laughing at myself and my inability to do things. And this actually was just, look at that. I'm slot. what? What is happening? I, yeah, I, mm -hmm. this is, this is just another extension of, you know, this is an example of just something that happens in my life every day. I can't go a full day without making, you know, some sort of mess, like accidental mess, right? Like my kids, I think make actively, they, they actively choose to make messes. But me, I, I don't want to make messes and somehow it still ends up not being the case. And that's great. That's just, I'm clumsy. Mr. Soap and Clay think, says I'm very clumsy and he finds that endearing. I do not. I, I don't like that at all because all the mess that I've made with this means I have a second step before I can put the labels on these, which is wiping everything down and then spritzing the outside with alcohol to make sure the labels will adhere. And that's not fun. I don't like that, but you know, whatever it is, what it is. I brought this on myself with the boozy scented lotion. I acting like I'm drunk. And yeah, so these will set up for about six hours before we cap them and test the, you know, the, the lotiony quality of this hand cream really. And so we can go test it now. So on to the cap and the test and this lotion is such a beautiful natural color. One of the cool things about making these hand creams for the men's line is that I am not at all even remotely concerning myself with the color of the lotion. So they are all going to be this beautiful, you know, yellowy gold color there. And yeah, look at the mess. Look at this and that. Yup. That's uh, one more thing that I have to do. That's awesome. But yeah, so every you know grooming kit in the uh, men's line for the the Rat Pack line, the Coke Cabana stuff, they all get their own hand cream that matches the scent blends that we had selected for all four of the Rat Pack members that we decided to to do for you know the the Rat Pack gift sets really. And so this one again, this is the Frank Sinatra one, and the lotion itself is named Danny Ocean. And I think that's cool. Last yesterday's soap was the chairman. And this is Danny Ocean. So all of the products within the grooming kit, you know, thing, they all have names that are either from songs or from, you know, movies or whatever associated with, you know, the, the Rat Pack member. And so Danny Ocean, obviously Ocean's Eleven, big old thing. And so the test of the lotion, and it has a really good consistency. It's nice and thick which I absolutely love. And you'll see how quickly it absorbs here. There's no sort of white film left with it because it just legitimately does absorb that quickly, but fe left feeling completely hydrated. It's totally great. And if I had actually known that, oh, it's so pretty, look at that. There's one to the other. It's actually great. I love these hand creams and Mr. Soap and Clay, again, he did the snap test and it was good. He could snap his fingers. So that is a uh, day 167, the hand cream for the Rat Pack men's grooming sets. And it's awesome. And there it is, day 167, the men's hand cream. Now with this, again, this is part of the Rat Pack line. So it's this is one of four different scent options. All of the oils and butters are going to be the same throughout all four of the hand creams because this combination is just a slam dunk across the board. So if you have a good formulation, why play with it? And the only thing that will change between the four is going to be the scent blends. Now, the one that I showed you today was the Frank Sinatra one. So it's a follow up from yesterday's soap. And I love this. I love the blend. The scent blend together is obviously great with the bourbon and the Cubans and everything, but also keeping in mind what it is that you know men like from their moisturizer, it's very lightly scented, which is good. So, you know, listen to the men in your life and don't don't make them wear overpowering things because the majority of them don't like it. Just my observation. 
Anyway, if you are interested in the hand cream, you can totally find it in a few days as part of the package sets for all four Rat Pack members that we're doing the, yeah. So you can find that in a few days at soapandclay.com. It's not there today. If you are interested in more soapy antics and you wanna see what else we put in this awesome grooming kit for men, subscribe to the channel, do the thing, click the word, that would be awesome. It would make me happy. You could join the Sudzer family and that would be sweet. For those of you who are a part of the Sudzer family, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. It's awesome that you are here for another round of 365 days of soap. You are awesome. And I hope you continue to be awesome throughout the rest of your day today. And I will see you guys all again tomorrow. Bye.